but 10, a passionate group of people in Milwaukee working to change the name of a city park, saying the person it's named after now was a white supremacist. Instead, they want it named after a 93 year old black woman who visited that park today. Lucille Berrien is a part of Milwaukee history as the first black woman to run for mayor. In 1972, she ran against Henry Meyer, the city's longest serving mayor. Once I got involved, I didn't know how to stop. <laughs> Lucille worked closely with Father James Grappi and dedicated her life to helping women and children because she knew the struggle firsthand. She moved to Milwaukee in 1953 for a better life for her kids after her husband was killed in the Korean War. For a widow and now single mom at the age of 24, that took guts. He did a lot of good work right in this city. And now community activists are working to do something good for her. They want Lindbergh Park on 16th Street between Keefe and Nash to be renamed Lucille Berrien Park. For years, she lived just a few blocks away. And it's important to celebrate icons and celebrate Milwaukee and celebrate the people who have made Milwaukee a great place to live and a great city. Charles Lindbergh, who the park has long been named after, was born in Michigan. He became famous for making the first solo transatlantic flight flying from New York City to Paris in 1927. But there has been controversy over whether he was a Nazi sympathizer. Park names matter. Monument names matter. We're fighting for racial equality. For years now, there have been other efforts across our country to remove Charles Lindbergh's name from other buildings and landmarks over his reportedly racist views. Most recently, the school board of Peoria, Illinois, voted last month to remove his name from a school there.